hi and welcome back to my channel i'm just laughing because i just sounded like exactly how my eight and seven year old sound when they um do their youtube videos <laughs> um i haven't posted on here in a long time because life life just got in the way um so welcome back if you're here and thank you for watching thank you for coming back and <laughs> tuning in um the whole concept of today's tapping is has actually been inspired by the fact that i haven't been on here in so long um because i was thinking about it and it's been one of those things that i've been every week like i need to do another youtube video i need to do another tapping session I need to keep that momentum going. I need to keep that consistency going. And then that brought up for me, I just haven't been able to do it. And it brought up for me a challenge that I have, which is consistency. And when I start something or try to instill a new habit, I go really well for a while and then life gets in the way and I stop. Um, and it, it's something that really frustrates me about myself. And so, of course, like with any challenge that we have, particularly when it's something we feel like we're not doing well enough, that brings up a whole lot of habits. And I, for me, it rolls over into, you know, trying to instill good habits with my children as well. Um, and so then that, of course, brings up more emotions and around whether I'm a good mother and, you know, um, guilt for not, you know, being consistent with habits for my children as well. Um, so today I just thought, you know what, I'm, I'm, when I was thinking all of this, I was like, I need to tap on this. I need to work out what it is that holds me back with being able to be consistent when I'm trying to install, instill healthy, growth-driven habits in my life. So you can tap along with me if you like, and you can repeat the words that I say um, and tap where I tap, or you can put your own words in where they resonate because tapping is always more powerful when you use your words. Um, or you can just tap along and borrow the benefits of what I'm saying and what I'm uncovering. I don't know where this is going to go today. I just know that I have this challenge and that tapping an EFT helps me to uncover what is underneath that challenge and what's the root cause of that. Um, whenever we tap, Think of it like a table. So you've got a tabletop where you come in with this particular issue or something that's bothering you. Um, and that's what we might start tapping on and that's what we think we're, we're working on. But then often we manage to clear that tabletop and we realise that there's these table legs or beliefs that are holding up that challenge. Um, and they're really the root cause and the deeper things that are going on. So having said all that, come along with me as I tap and try and work out what is it is about consistency and why I can't stay consistent. And at the very least, if I don't uncover that in today's session, then hopefully I can relieve and release some of the emotions, some of the strong emotions that I have about the fact that I'm not great at being consistent with things. Okay, so um, as always, I suggest you have a drink of water. It's good to have some pen, a pen and some paper. Um, write down the intensity of these, um, the emotions and the feelings and the sensations in your body that you have around this challenge um, or issue. As we go, you can then write if that goes up or if it goes down. Um, if the sensation in your body changes. Um, and as always, if you feel like you need 
more help with that, please reach out. Um, I do do one-to-one -one sessions and it's always much deeper to go. It's always much more beneficial to go deeper on a one-to-one -one level in an EFT session. Uh, so let's get started. Take a deep breath. I just like to ask my guides or the universe source, God, whatever you resonate with, to help me bring up what I need during this session. Help me to release what doesn't serve me during this session. And just help me to find some calm and peace around this particular issue, which for today is not being able to be consistent with good habits. So starting on the side of the hand, even though I'm really struggling with inconsistency, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm really struggling with not maintaining good habits, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm beating myself up and feeling negative, strong emotions about my inconsistencies, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Consistency. inconsistency, more to the point. I feel so heavy in my body when I think about my lack of consistency. It's like a pull between my, like behind my eyes And this heavy feeling in my head. Sometimes, sometimes in my chest as well. Just all this, this inconsistency. Just feeling like I never stick with things. And that when I try to install good habits for my children, I never stick with them as well. Like I buy all the things or set up all the, you know, planners and schedules and buy them kids' journals and things like that. But then we go well for a few days and then just stop. And I do the same in my own life. This YouTube channel is like a perfect example. I was really consistent, posting weekly for a while. I was full of ideas and then just stopped. Why? Why am I so inconsistent? What is it about forming habits that just doesn't seem to work for me?
it feels really frustrating. Really frustrating. And this, all this frustration, I can feel it physically in my body. Makes my head feel heavy. Makes my chest squeeze. So why do I do it? What is this frustration from? This frustration is obviously from not sticking with anything. But why does that bother me so much? All these habits I don't stick with. All this inconsistency. All this inconsistency that leads to all this frustration. All this frustration. Weighing my body and mind down. Just feels so heavy. All this inconsistency and these frustrations. All these frustrations and inconsistency. Just going to pause here and take a deep breath. So here is a good time after a first round to just check in with your body. Do a scan with your eyes closed, see what sensations there are in your body and also what came up for you during that round. Make a note of it if you'd like. Score the intensity of the sensations in your body from a 1 to 10. 10 being really strong, 1 being not strong at all. Um, and compare that to what the intensity was when you started the session. I Some things came up for me there, which is good. That's what we want to happen. So continue tapping, starting at the top of the head. So this frustration is actually about not feeling like I've achieved anything, that I'm not successful. And every time I try to instill another habit or try to do something that will help me grow. It's like I'm just failing again. It's a feeling of failure. Failure. Feeling like I failed. And I continue to fail in life. What's this failure about? This, this sensation makes me feel sad as well. It's almost like I'm almost just resigned to it. Mm. Oh, look, another thing I didn't continue with. <laughs> that in itself is actually probably a habit. Mm. 
a habit of not being habitual. This, this feeling of failure. And it's got this really strong hold on me. Failure. Feeling like a failure. Feeling like a failure. Feeling like a failure. Feeling like a failure. Feeling sad and frustrated from this. Sadness. Frustration. Like I'm letting myself and other people down. Like I'm not doing the best for my children. And there's that fun mum's guilt that comes with that. Where does this all stem from? Why is it having such a hold on me now? Why does it bother me so much? Because I, maybe it's something that's followed me my whole life. And there's things I so desperately want to do and change and goals I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. And this having a hold on me. Almost feels like it's something else to stop those things happening, but what is it that is stopping it, stopping me? Reality is, is that I'm letting me stop me. Because... Well, Logically, I know I can change, but I just need to find that consistency. And prioritise the things that I really want to make a consistent habit. There's probably some fear around that because it's all my responsibility. I can let excuses, and that's what they are, excuses, a little bit of tough love, self-tough love. Things like there's not enough time in the day, I'm not good enough or I don't know enough, don't have the education or knowledge. People won't want to hear what I've got to say. I don't have the right equipment. I don't have the money. All of these things, all of the reasons that I let, and I let it, it's me letting it happen, stop me from being consistent. It 
So what is the root cause for letting those things have an impact? Comes back to that fear of failure. But really, that's silly. <laughs> I love how EFT works. Um, that's so silly because the more I do something, the better I'm going to get at it. So it's pointless and counterproductive to stop doing the habit. To not make whatever the, the new habit is a priority. And it just, if it just ends in me either not growing, not moving forward, and then feeling frustrated, sad, guilty, what is the point of not continuing with the habit? What is the point of not being consistent? There is no point. <laughs> so I hate things that are pointless. I hate things that waste my time or that don't feel efficient. Session's turning into a little bit of a self-love pep talk tough self-love pep talk so if being inconsistent feels pointless and inefficient and I hate being pointless and, and incon inefficient I need to change that so I'm choosing now then to let go of the stronghold and this belief that I'm inconsistent and the, the stronghold that that belief is having on me because it is a choice to be consistent with things. It is a choice to prioritise things. It is a choice to do the things that I know make me feel good, help me and my children and my family grow, help us feel calm. That is all the choice. And I have developed this belief about myself that I am inconsistent and not good at maintaining habits. And in the past, that's because I have stopped doing habits or sometimes I'll do them for a long time and then I'll stop for a period and then go back to them. It's been a very up and down cycle or a pattern. And that's been with a lot of things, the gym, social media content, mindfulness practices, lots of things. So the thing is, though, what's the point of dwelling on the past? I can't change any of that. I can't redo any of that. 
but I can choose to try and improve in the future. I can choose to let go of this belief that I am a failure. I can choose to release the stronghold that that belief has on my mind and body and spirit. I can choose that moving forward, to change that belief. It'll be a work in progress, of course. Personal development always is. It's just little steps at a time. But the first step is always the hardest. Bit of a cliche, but it's true. So, knowing that not remaining consistent with habits really stems to this pattern from my past and this fear of failure. Now that I have that awareness. I can choose to change that. I love how EFT sessions help you find clarity and things that obviously this may seem so obvious, you know, like, but when you have this belief or this challenge or difficulty that you're facing and you've got really strong emotions about it, you can't see clearly the obvious points about it. So this connecting the mind and body by tapping and talking out loud like this just really helps to find that clarity. So I can feel my intensity around this situation reducing as I do this, which is a positive. Just as I tap without talking here, I'm just scanning my body and my mind to see if there's anything new coming up or if I can release this now. And I think I can start to let this, let this go. So now that I've done this work and started to dive into what's behind these habits of inconsistency and these feelings of frustration and sadness. I'm going to choose to start to release this challenge. I'm going to choose to stop beating myself up over it and choose to remember all the times that I have been consistent with different habits and things that I've wanted to do in my life and remind myself that I do come back to things and even if I have a bit of a break that's okay because maybe that's what I needed at that time and that that's perfect okay perfectly okay
and I'm going to forgive myself for old habits <laughs> that maybe weren't so beneficial for me and in my case the habit of not being habitual with certain things. I'm going to forgive myself for that. Literally just feel like there's a weight off my shoulders just saying that out loud. I forgive myself. I'm asking my guides to let go of, or help me let go of what doesn't serve me around this. And I'm going to choose to let go of what doesn't serve me. I'm going to release all of the frustration. the negative self-talk, a feeling of failing, because really you never actually fail at something as if it teaches you something, right? And I'm going to thank myself for taking the time to actually delve into this, for taking steps to try and grow and I choose now now that I've found this knowledge and this clarity around it I choose now just to try and move forward the best way I can and it may not be instant happen today but I'm going to try and be more consistent when I want to implement new habits or new routines for both me and my kids and with that I choose to release everything that doesn't serve me from my mind, body and spirit. Choose to release everything that doesn't serve me from my mind, body and spirit. I choose to release everything that doesn't serve me from my mind, body and spirit. I choose to release everything that doesn't serve me from my mind, body and spirit. I choose to release any negative energy around this and around habit building and consistency so I can move forward. I choose to do that starting now. So when you feel ready, you can continue to tap for as long as you like. Afterwards, I'm going to just take a deep breath now, do a scan of my body, record what my intensity levels are at, and then try to move forward. I hope that anybody else that struggles with this got something out of that session. Um, I hope you borrowed some of the benefits of tapping there. Um, if you feel like you need to continue tapping, you can do so just talking out loud and tapping continuously how I just did. Um, and if you do need some further help, want to go deeper, please reach out to me via all my channels that are in the um, video notes and until we tap again take care